When you are going through a difficult time, are you tempted to think that Father God is not loving you or loving you less? Hello and welcome to Mending Wings to Fly. My name is Amy Burgard and we are in the midst of our 803 series, uh, the last part of our series, and we are in the book of Jeremiah. The name of this devotion is Perfect Father, and I will be reading the scripture, Jeremiah 803, from the ERV version. I will force the people of Judah to leave their homes and their land. They will be taken away to foreign lands. Some of the people of Judah who were not killed in the war will wish they had been killed. This message is from the Lord All-Powerful. This verse makes me take a long, deep breath and sigh. When you first hear this verse, it may make you feel that old feeling of, uh-oh, Father is angry. I know that this is how I felt. Sometimes when we see anger, we feel there is a loss of love. This is not true in this verse. Father God passionately loves his children. He is angry because his people are being rebellious in their hearts. Father God always acts or allows things to happen for our ultimate good. It may seem like he has a loss of love for us, but he is perfect in all of his ways. He is the most wonderful and loving Father. Hebrews 12, 9-11 from the BSB states, Furthermore, we have all had earthly fathers who disciplined us and we respected them. Should we not much more submit to the Father of our spirits and live? Our fathers disciplined us for a short time as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good so that we may share in his holiness. No discipline seems enjoyable at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it yields a harvest of righteousness and peace to those who have been trained by it. Our response to his discipline is so vitally important. The grave mistake I see in people's lives is when hardship comes and they respond as if our Father God has neglected them in some way. Somehow, Father God doesn't love them or stop loving them. This is the bait of the enemy to divide us far from our loving Father. I implore you, do not take this bait. It is a lie from the pit of hell. Rather than having false notions about our perfect Father, we need to look at our own hearts in our lives and see where we have gone wrong. We need to, as quickly as we can, go to our Father in prayer and ask Him if there's anything that needs to be revealed to us. Is there anything in our hearts that needs to be rectified and taken care of? Questions we may ask are, did I open a door that needs to be quickly shut? Do I have a rebellious spirit about someone or something in my life? Am I doing something that is not pleasing in your eyes? These are some questions that we can ask our Father to examine our own hearts and our minds and our souls. One such example that I can share with you about this very thing is when I had a great disdain for doctors. I felt that they had a great contribution to the death of my late husband, the way that they handled things. And I had had that great disdain for four years. My mom was rushed to the emergency room because of difficulties she was facing. I was there with her and I went to the nurse's station to ask them 
to get something for my mom, I was faced with the doctor that I had a great disdain for because of how he handled my late husband's issues and how he handled me. And I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting there with the crisis with my mom at the hospital and I was asking the Lord, are you, are you kidding me? I'm having to face this doctor that I had a major, major issue with in my heart. And when things got settled with my mom, I felt Holy Spirit draw me to go to the hospital chapel. I really felt like Father was going to comfort me and give me peace there. What he did was deal with that issue, that major heart issue that I had towards the doctors, the unforgiveness issue in my heart. He led me to read the Bible that was right next to the chair I was sitting in, to Psalm 51. I'd like to read to you Psalm 51, 6 to 12 from the Passion Translation. I know that you delight to set your truth deep in my spirit, so come into the hidden places of my heart and teach me wisdom. Purify my conscience, make this leper clean again. Wash me in your love until I am pure in heart. Satisfy me in your sweetness, and my song of joy will return. The places within me you have crushed will rejoice in your healing touch. Hide my sins from your face. Erase all my guilt by your saving grace. Create a new, clean heart within me. Fill me with pure thoughts and holy desires ready to please you. May you never reject me. May you never take from me your sacred spirit. Let my passion for life be restored, tasting joy in every breakthrough you bring to me. Hold me close to you with a willing spirit that obeys whatever you say. I finally let go of that bitterness in my heart. I knew Father was addressing my sin so that I could be set free, and he did. I asked the Father to please forgive me for holding that unforgiveness for the doctors and he released me that night. It was my own heart issue that was keeping me from the joy and peace that I so longed to have. May I pray for us. Thank you Father for being the only perfect Father we could ever know. You are perfect in all of your ways. I ask that we always remember your love is perfect towards us. When we face those times of difficulty, may we be reflective, and if there's anything we need to get right with you, that we do it quickly. I am so very thankful that you always have our very best at heart. We can always trust you. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. May you remember that loving God and loving others gives us our wings to fly. And I would love for you to take a look at our new website. I'm so very excited about our Mending Wings to Fly website. It's MendingWingsToFly.com. And on there you'll find different things about Mending Wings to Fly. And you can also catch up with our videos and find out about books that we offer. Also, I would love for you to consider being a Dove Partner. To say thank you to our Dove Partners, every Friday I will be running a devotion based on their personal birthday, month, and day. No year required. So, thank you for joining us. It's great to be with you, and we will see you next time.